Hello guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. Today let's take a look at how to add a full background video to our website. So let's get started by going to our toolbox and bringing in some layers here. So I'll go to the advanced section of tools. I'll click on the layer and draw on an empty space in the canvas. I'll expand this to hit the width of my page and um, minimize this a little bit to about 60 pixels of height. So I'll hit on enter, double click on this and change maybe the color of it let's change the color of it to this color we have here now let's come back to the general tab and center um, this under alignment and check relative horizontal size and i'll go ahead and make a copy of this layer here so i'll right click on it select copy and i'll paste here so let me just move this a little bit to this section let me expand it this way and go ahead and expand it this way so i'll double click on it and change the color of it so this is going to be a white color and i'll make a copy of this um layer i have here using ctrl c so i use ctrl v to paste it here i'll double click on it and i'll change the color to about um i'll change the color to this color i have in here and i'll go ahead and click on ok let me expand this a little bit so now I'll come back to my toolbox and under media I would click on the HTML5 video. So I would draw in this particular layer I have in here. I'll now double click on it and I would select that is I'm going to browse for the um, video I'm going to use in this project. So I'll double click and select um, the video and I'll check the option I have in here that says fill entire browser. So I'll check this and I would I'll make sure I mute my uh, my video. I don't want the audio to play when I start my video i would also check the loop the loop will help the video play when it gets to the end so it will keep on looping it anytime it gets to the end and it starts and it keeps on playing and playing and playing and playing so that is the option we want in here i'll go ahead and click on okay so that is all we need to do over here but take a look at something i'm going to hit on f5 and preview this in my browser so let me just move my browser here and you take a look at what really happened so um here we go as you can see this um, video created um, some kind of spacing at our left hand side and our right right hand side we don't want to have that in our final project so let's take a look at how we can do that before then let me come back to my project and um, move this layer to the back so that when i preview this once again i don't have my orange layer here hidden at the back so okay it looks like we have some small problem here but that's fine now what i'm going to do next is to publish this particular site so i'm going to publish this site to a folder and uh in my local host you don't necessarily need a local host you can publish this website or this particular page to any folder so i'll go ahead and publish this um site when i'm done i'll click on ok and now what i need to do next is to open this particular project in a test editor so you have to browse to the location of um let's say your project you exported so this is the project i exported this is the location i'm going to open it in my text editor that is the, the index.css so i'll open this in my text editor let me just bring my text editor here and over here we are just going to do just a single thing all you need to do is to look for the um video you that is the video you added that is um let me just show you something here so i come back to my wizard web builder and when you click on this and you come to um, property inspector you can see the id of this particular um object here so we just copy this id and when you come to your text editor just let me just move this to hit um, this particular session use um control let's say control f depending on the kind of text editor you're using search for the id you copied so this is the id we copied and when you as you can see there's some kind of property attached to it over here so all we need to do here is to just take off the height when you're done just save so let me come back to file and um save this particular project so i'll minimize this and i'm going to go ahead and open this in my browser so let me just open this in my browser and let me browse to the location of my video so i'll select um, that is i'll type in the location of the video in my browser so localhost slash video now I'll go ahead and hit on enter and as you can see the video fits the entire width of our um, page uh, here and um, if we were to create breakpoints in our project you would have realized that it would have been fully responsive and as you can see until the video gets to the end it starts again so that is the purpose of the loop we selected in our video thank you very much for watching bye for now